new videos every day. Good evening. This is Dr. Vince Vellante. It's a pleasure to be with you again. I wanted to talk a little bit right now about vitamins. There's a lot of misinformation, I think. You have one whole group of people that talks about the idea that you don't need to take any supplements because there's plenty in the food. That may have been true at one time, but it's not so easy to do anymore. I run into people all the time on that side of the fence who claim that you're just wasting your money if you take a supplement, a vitamin, a mineral, some kind of a nutritious substance that's been isolated. And that's, that's a key point that we're going to talk about in a minute. But you probably are going to find it difficult to find everything that you need out of your food. Now, perhaps if you're growing your own vegetables and you're grazing your own beef or other animals that you may eat, if you're aware of everything and you cook everything yourself, and we don't want to cook too much, we want to have things more close, closely aligned to their origin, but you probably are going to find it hard to get every nutrient that you need in the amount that you need from the foods. We can talk about soil depletion. We can talk about the fact that industrial food growing is giving us foods that aren't very nutritious. We can talk about the fact that organic foods have somewhere around six times the nutrient density of the, what you will commonly buy in the supermarket. So it's difficult to get everything you need out of a good diet. And I know that because we do testing in the office that indicates whether or not you've gotten enough of the nutrients and whether or not you've absorbed them. That may be a factor as well. A lot of the common foods people eat these days don't have nutrients in a form that are easily absorbed. So there can be a lot of things that interfere with your getting your nutrients. So my take on it is that you're probably not going to get everything that you need just out of your food. On the other hand, I don't think you need to take grocery bags full of supplements. You can really key on, on certain things and have a, a way to understand what it is you need to take. There's some pretty good laboratory work out there that you can get different ways to test. A couple ways, one is a blood test that allows you to see from the response of certain cells whether you've gotten enough nutrients. I found that to be a pretty good tool. You can actually test the levels in the blood if you more accurately test what's in the red blood cell. There are red blood cell analysis that you can do. You can do something called an organic acid test or a urine test where we look to see that certain things are coming out in the urine. That way we know that the nutrients are upstream because you'll get different things if you didn't have the nutrients available to create the right end products if that, if you can follow that. So there are different ways to look and see if you're getting the nutrients into your body. I find most people have deficiency in there even with a very good diet. So Considering what most Americans eat, yeah, you got to take supplements. But I would say that it's good to key in on the things that you need and not take everything on the shelf. So use some testing. Go to somebody who has some knowledge. Now, there's also what we call nutraceutical treatment. Sometimes, instead of a pharmaceutical drug, we'll use a nutrient in a much higher dose to get an effect. So it becomes somewhat like using drugs. And in that case, of course, you have to take some supplements. You're not going to be able to get enough food in to get to those higher levels. So both sides have, have a point. I do think that you need to eat a good diet and make that your base and get most of your nutrients out of that. On the other hand, if you're missing something, it's, it's going to help your body function. You're going to be benefited from taking a nutritional supplement. So be reasonable about it. You don't have to take everything out there. Eat a good diet, perhaps a multivitamin, multimineral. There's three things that I suggest that people take. A good quality multivitamin, multimineral. You may be just hitting one or two things, and you may have some expensive urine. But that way I know you're not deficient. Better to be a little bit over than a little bit under. You can also take uh, some source of omega-3 fats, and uh, the most direct source is fish oil, but you've got flax, barrage, evening primrose, primrose uh, black currant. There's a lot of sources of the omega-3 fats. People don't tend to get enough of those, and we tend to get an, an abundance of the omega-6, but some of those have omega-6 in them. You want to balance. Used to be about a one-to-one -one ratio. Now, probably people, again, need to take a little bit more on the omega-3 and maybe the omega-9 side. You want those essential fats, so some kind of a supplement that gives you those. And then probiotics occasionally. The importance of probiotics is truly coming to bear. So if you've taken medications, if you've had a fever, there's a lot of ways you can wipe out the biosphere or the normal organisms that are good for your gut and, and help you in so many ways. And we'll talk about that in the future. But a probiotic occasionally is quite helpful. Those probably should be your baseline supplements.
again, at least you're covering some bases. And then if you're trying to address certain conditions or certain problems, you may even go all the way to a nutraceutical treatment, which is going to be much higher. But herbs and supplements have their place. We at least need the vitamins and the minerals that are important to the function of, your, of your, the human body. So be reasonable on both sides. Eat a good diet, get the nutrients you need from that, and then make sure that you're getting everything that you need. Perhaps even do some clinical nutrition testing to know what you need. And if you have a condition you're trying to address, go seek out a certified clinical nutritionist or somebody who has that amount of expertise to be able to help you address those problems correctly. Remember, symptoms always have a cause. You have to look for causative factors as well as just taking the vitamins and minerals or even the herbs. Remember that we don't want to get dependent on herbs just like we don't want to get dependent on the pharmaceutical drugs. But you have a lot of control over what happens with your health. And a lot of it comes down to what you eat. Feel free to give me a call at the office. Check us out at our website. It's uh, www.bewellrx.com or austinwallaceinstitute.com. And I'd like to talk to you if, if you have any interest. So again, this is Dr. Vince Balanzi. Be healthy, be well, and have a good evening.